We're doing this. Let's talk about room design. What's going on? My name is Alex Ramey with DJ Cut Entertainment. And today I want to talk about how to properly set up your room for your wedding and how to design a layout. So I want to talk about the fundamental things that are important to a DJ when designing a room layout. My basic things that I worry about are where's my power? Where's the dance floor? Where's the head table? And most importantly, where is the bar and alcohol? So I want to pick out a, a location that is close to the dance floor. And I want the dance floor to be close to the head table and close to alcohol. Uh, I just came from a site walkthrough where I have the DJ booth is on one area. The dance floor is right in front. The bridal table is in BFE out that way. And then alcohol is in another room that's probably about 300 yards away. So what's gonna happen at this wedding is most of the people are gonna hover around where alcohol is. Wherever my bride and groom are and wherever alcohol is, that's where the majority of the people are gonna be. Doesn't matter how good of a song I play, I just can't compete with alcohol. I'll kick my butt every time. So when I'm doing my weddings, I usually let the day of coordinator or the planner set up the room. Uh, if my bride and groom don't have one, then I will give them some input and give them kind of my guidelines of what I need when setting up my room. So the very first thing that I do when I get to a room or a venue or when I'm doing my site walkthrough is I find out where power is and how many different outlets because I know myself I need power. I know if the videographer is going to need power, photographer is going to need power. If they have a photo booth, they're going to need power. And the big thing is catering company. I try to make sure they're on a different circuit because they're usually using heat elements that draw a lot of power. So I'm keeping all this in mind when I'm trying to design where I need to set everything up and where everything's going to be located. From there, I'm looking at traffic areas. I want to be in a good location where I have a visual line of sight of everything that's going on to the best that we can, but it's not a high traffic area. I've been before where it looked like a good area for the dance floor, but it's like right in front of the line for the bathroom and everybody's just walking right in front of my booth. And it was just a high traffic area. So I try to avoid those things first. But then I like to get the dance floor, the head table and the DJ right around the same area, but I want it to look aesthetically pleasing as well. So then from there, I need to decide where I'm putting my speakers. Now, me particularly, I get a lot of compliments on my sound setup and everybody's like, hey, it sounded really good. It wasn't too loud, but everybody could hear. And I'm really big on my weddings that have 75 or more people or a very large room that I do a four speaker setup. So I do speakers on the dance floor and then I put speakers either out on the sides or the back of the room so I can keep the overall volume level down, but everybody can hear really well. And I don't have to blast the music to reach the tables in everybody in the back room. And that's how I'm able to achieve such a good high quality sound. So when I'm placing my speakers, I wanna place them either by the dance floor or the back room, but I wanna place them pretty high in the air. And I wanna make sure that they're away from uh, tables and chairs and they're not right in you know somebody's ear, the speaker's blasting. So I'm trying to put it up as high as possible and away from tables directly. So that way it's not blasting in somebody's ear. Now, if I'm lucky, the DJ booth, the head table, and the bar are really close to the dance floor. And I feel that this is the most successful way to set up a room. It's gonna have the biggest impact on the room setup itself. Now, the last thing that I focus on is the lighting in the room. Um, when the dance party starts, we like to bring the overall house lights down. Uh, many of my clients go with our spotlight and our uplight package because I want to focus all the attention on the dance floor and it just looks amazing in pictures. And so I need to make sure I have power for these lights and I can really focus the attention on the dance floor to bring this room all together. So it's having good power, dance floor is in a good location. We're close enough to the dance floor and head table for speeches and the bar is nice and close so everybody no matter if they're dancing or at the bar or talking to the bride and groom, they're all in the same general area 
And then people that don't want to dance can be on the outskirts and kind of left alone. And then we have good traffic lanes for people moving around the venue. Thank you guys very much. My name is Alex with DJ Cut Entertainment. If you guys have any questions, please let me know.